Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these farmhouse style French closet doors. These are a replacement for some bifold doors that we had in here. They were always coming off their track and the screws were um, always stripping out. So um, that had mostly to do with the fact that this jam uh, or enclosure was not square level or plumb at all. So a lot of the video is me redoing that and fixing it, but I hope that this video inspires you guys to go out and maybe build these doors or um, fix something at home, um, but mostly just inspire you to go out to the shop and make some sawdust. So check it out, guys. First, I took apart this old jam. When I did this, I found out that the sheetrock that they put in was not flush with the studs, so I used a flush trim saw to cut that sheetrock flush with that stud. Once I get the jam shimmed out and plumb, I secure it in place. Then I measure the enclosure and design some doors on SketchUp, and then it's off to the shop to put them together. First I rough cut this stock and put a clean 90 degree cut on one end. Here I am cleaning up one edge of each board with the jointer. Now I'm placing the jointed edge against the table saw fence so that when I rip these boards they will be straight on both sides and both sides will be parallel. Now that I have all the pieces cut to their final width, I use my crosscut sled to cut them to their final length. When calibrated correctly, a crosscut sled can cut a very precise 90 degree angle. For the long pieces, I clamp the boards with the clean cut ends flush with one another and cut them at the same time at the miter saw to ensure they are the same length. Using a roundover bit in the router table, I round over all four corners of the boards that make up the panel section of the doors. With a pocket hole jig, I put two pocket holes in each end of the cross pieces of the door frame.
Here I'm clamping the workpiece to the table to keep it from moving while I drive pocket screws to assemble the frames. Then I mark the center point of the frame and the center point of the middle cross piece so that I can line the marks up before I screw them together. Now I secure the panel pieces onto the frame with glue and brad nails. Once all the panel pieces are in, I just glue another frame on top of it, sandwiching the panels. Now it's time to cut and install new trim pieces for the closet door frame. Next I install the hinges on the doors and hang them to check their fit. Here I am installing the handles. Since these are thick doors I had to use a Forstner bit to recess where the screw head would rest. I use a piece of tape to mark the depth that I need on the bit. Now I install another trim piece to fur this out to be able to install a board where the doors will rest when closed. This is some cupboard door hardware that I picked up to use as a latching system. I had some doubts on how they'd work, but they work pretty good for this application.
During the fitting process, I discovered that the doors hang up on each other when closed at the same time, so I cut a chamfer into them at the table saw. This ended up fixing the problem and worked quite nice. And now it's time to set up my makeshift paint booth in the shop and spray these doors. And now for the best part, my lovely assistants helped me to do the final installation. And after a quick break to put the doll's diaper on, it's back to business. Here you go. Thank you, Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. All right, that's it guys. Uh, this was a little woodworking project and a home improvement project. Uh, my wife asked me to fix these doors and I realized this is more than just a fix, but um, I didn't want to have to come fix those bifold doors, you know, all the time. So this was my solution to that. Um, I feel like these look a lot better and I know that they're a lot more functional. Um, I'll be uploading a lot more videos here in the future. Uh, mostly woodworking videos because that's what I love to do. It's not what I do for a living, but it's what I love to do. So that's what you'll see most of. Um, if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out, if you haven't already, um, please consider subscribing so you don't miss when I upload another video. And yeah, catch you on the next one, guys.